Okay, I'm gonna do some editing today, but first, I'm gonna go for a run. It's beautiful weather outside. I haven't ran in a while. I got some good tunes. Okay, an excellent run. What were my stats today? 2.38 miles, 19 minutes, 21 seconds. Average pace, 8.07. But my first split was a 6.41. That's pretty fast. Not too bad, not too bad. As I indicated yesterday, I'm going to do a stream today. I'm gonna to do that right now. For those of you who made it, thank you for joining. For those of you who didn't, we'll do another one sometime. I think today, maybe I'll play Link to the Past. <sighs> Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to decide after I eat. Okay, what are these? These are sugar pie pumpkins that I planted <laughs> and grew. Um, we had 21. This is what's left. I gave some away and I cooked some. So why didn't you make watermelons? Well, I didn't know it was going to be that successful. <laughs> <laughs> I will grow watermelons next Not to year. be a begging chooser or choosing beggar. <laughs> what I found, though, is that I did butternut squash and pumpkin and they were pretty close to each other and I got 21 pumpkins and one, one butternut squash. Oh. It was really good and it was really big and... So you have to separate them? So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to separate them so I might have to add some little garden space next year so I have enough room. What are you gonna make out of these? Um, so far I've just been making roasted pumpkin just like you do butternut squash or something. Mm. But when it gets closer to Thanksgiving, I'll make some pumpkin pies. Okay, that was a good stream. That was really long though. That was like four hours. <laughs> Is that four hours? That was a long stream. <laughs> but thank you everyone who joined. We'll be doing a pizza stream soon. I got some donations specifically for pizza money, so now I have to do it. <laughs> right. So yesterday I engaged in a little procrastination. But today, it's time to get work on some editing. So starting the edit of the episode, this is the first episode where we have used the Sony a7S III, the current camera that I'm using right now. One thing has become painfully clear, micro four thirds is so noisy. I just don't see any reason for us to keep using GH cameras. We use the GH5S, which is supposed to have better noise performance than this GH5. It's, it's no comparison, full frame versus micro four thirds. Anyway, looking at this footage, I'm like, yo, we gotta replace that and just roll with two Sony a7S threes every time. The one thing GH cameras are still better at is the manual touch focus. Look, you can just drag it. Oh man, that is so great. And the Sony a7S three does have touch focus. I can do background, foreground, background, foreground. Curly, curly. But it doesn't have a little box around where you're focusing on so you're not ever 100% sure that you focused on the right spot. And that sounds like kind of a small complaint, but in a way it's not because you're focusing that way all the time. But the autofocus is so good, if you just reposition real quick, focus on the center of the frame and then reposition back, it's almost as good. Whenever I talk about cameras, it's important to note that I do not look at price as a factor at all. So keep that in mind when I talk about anything. Because there are cameras that do pretty much everything I want, even better than the a7S III, but they're so much bigger that it doesn't matter. Like they can be $10,000 and I'm like, okay, well I'll find a way to pay $10,000 for a camera. But if it's that big, that's one of my biggest points is it needs to be small and compact. The a7S III is so perfect. It's mind boggling, and mind boggling. It was like 2020 had to happen so that karmically a perfect camera could exist you know what i mean like if 2020 didn't happen and was so crappy just the universe would be out of scale i'd be like why did something so good happen but not something so bad anyways that's what's come to mind if anybody is looking to invest in the micro four thirds format and would like to buy some of our equipment i don't know when we're going to be doing it yet but it's probably going to be fairly soon let me know Okay, I don't really feel like a run for today, but just shooting around some baskets, getting some sunshine, 
It's actually warm outside, it's freezing in here. Let's go do it. Okay, so I pre-ordered this ages ago, and I've been waiting for this to show up for so long. This is the type of thing that I don't get often, but over the years you get it every now and then, and then eventually you have a whole shelf full of stuff. This right here is the Final Fantasy VII Polygon Figures box set. Oh. Oh, mama. First up, my boy. My boy, Cloud. Oh my god, these are so great. Holy cow. Oh man, that is glorious. Oh my god, dude. Every single one I open is more exciting than the last. <laughs> Barrett, come on, man. Look at those things. what brilliant marketer, designer, whoever came up with this idea. But thank you. Thank you so much for coming up with this. This excites my brain in ways that I didn't even know were possible. So I was just at this one and I did that really fast. Also... That looks like a good. What? And then I did that what really fast, this? but I had to go. Back on the page, and then I went That's back. The Isn't that pretty crazy? It's I not these okay, I've already got lots of editing done. The rough edits somehow always are just really long now. Like, I'm not even through the first night, and it's 18 minutes long. That's the general flow, though, is you get everything in, and then you can start to see where it needs to be trimmed. If you made a sculpture analogy, the first step would be putting all your clay in a pile, and then whittling down. The clay is not already assembled, if that makes sense. That will do it for today's vlog, though. We will roll right into tomorrow, right now. Or, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So now I have to do it.